All right, in this session, let's actually set up uh, some categories and products for our store, and then we'll start to talk about layout design and some other features of Hickashop. Well, here I am in the product category section. And as you recall, we just have a product category in the root category. So I'm going to click New, and I'm going to say Books. These are our great books for sale. We'll leave that in the product category. We can add an image here. We'll leave the default image for now and click Save and New. Let's add another one called Videos. Watch our great videos. Once again, leave it in the product category. And we might want to upload a different image here, but for now, just leave it the way it is. Click Save and Close. So we now have two product categories, books and videos. So I am going to change that logo. I'm going to click in there and click Edit. And I'm just going to quickly update that file with something I've got here. For the purposes of the class, you can run out to Google and steal one if you'd like. This is the image we're going to use. So when I come out to my store page, I've got videos and books, and we need to reassign that to the book category, of course. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on Products. Click on Joomla Explain. On the right-hand side, click Add in the Categories, and let's put it in the book category. You can actually delete this category. One of the nice things with Hickashop is that you can have products in more than one category. So when I click Save, and come back over to my site, click on Books, there's Joomla Explained. Now the reason Joomla Explained is also still on this screen here is because it belongs to the master category. Very simple to get rid of. Click the trash bin there, click Save, hit Refresh, and now the book is gone because it's only part of the book category. So something to keep in mind as you're adding categories and products. Let's add another product. I'm going to come to Products. Actually, I'm going to click Save and Close. Click on Add a New Product. And I'm going to call this Joomla Intermediate Videos. Watch these great videos from OS Training. We're going to delete that product category, put it in the Videos category, and we're going to add the Joomla Explained book as a related product. And we'll see how that works. Down here at the bottom, this is a non-taxable good. There's no minimum, no maximum. We won't worry about the product available till there's no weight, so we'll put a zero kilograms in here or zero pounds because this is a downloadable product. And in the price category, we'll put $24.99. Let's click Save and Close for now. Take a look at this product. I click on Videos. We should see the Joomla Intermediate videos there. Because we set that module up to show, when we configured this in one of our first videos. So I can add that to the cart, proceed to checkout, and now I have two items in my cart, Joomla Explained and the Joomla Intermediate videos. And of course we'd need to set the access up for that somehow, but this is just an example. So creating products is as simple as adding the category and adding the product. To go beyond that, using brands and badges and even importing, we'll cover that in another video. But now your system is completely set up and you can start adding products to your product catalog.